Hello guys, welcome back to another and today's video is going to be a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. Now, this video is going up September 19th and the reason why is because that is the day of her funeral. Also, Queen Elizabeth's full name is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. So, Queen Elizabeth was born April 21st, 1926. Now, she was actually not born to be queen, meaning that her father, King George the Sixth, was the second son, and his brother, King Edward the Eighth, was meant to be king. So he was basically he was crowned king. But Okay, guys, so in 1936, he had to abdicate the throne because he was in love was with Miss Simpson, Wallace Simpson, um, and she was actually divorced twice, which was frowned upon in the British monarch at the time. So that is when she became queen, or like running in queen, um, as well as her grandfather, really wanted to see her become queen or wanted her to become a queen um so i just thought that was kind of funny how he wanted her to become queen but she wasn't again in the running to become queen now she at a so right as king george the sixth the got the throne he was there it's World War II started to, you know, happen. World War II started to basically develop. And so what happened was her and her sister Margaret was basically taken to Windsor Castle um, so that they would be safe from the bombings in London. And so she lived there. And when she was actually, not 11, 14, sorry, when she was 14 years old, she made her very first speech to basically the children of the nation and basically kind of saying that she was in her, basically in the same state as them. And they also basically said goodnight to them, which I thought that was funny. I know, I know. It was really funny though. And so that was really, truly her very first speech um, as well. So while this whole thing was happening, she was also being taught about her nation and basically how to basically handle stuff in a, not handle stuff in a situation, in a difficult situation, but she was learning stuff for her particular role as she was going to be when she was 25. So, yes. And also when she was 13 years old, she actually met her future husband, Prince Philip, who she, he, she fell in love with um, as a 13 year old, and he was, how old is he? 18? I think he might have been 18. I think he was 18, but I may be wrong. I think he was 18 when she first met him. And so they did actually get married on November 20th, 1947. Um, so, yes, that was really cool. Okay, so let's go to her 18th birthday. So on her 18th birthday, her father, King George the Sixth, got her, or is it, yeah, King George the Sixth, sorry, got her a corgi. And this is when she started falling in love with corgis. And that's actually one of her favorite uh, dogs. And she had a lot of corgis. And so she named the corgi Susan. And all of her other corgis were basically descendants of Susan. So that was, that's really, you know, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Also, so then when she was 18, I don't know if she was 18, but I do know that she also did serve in World War II as a truck driver. And she was also the last living head of state to actually serve in World War II. So then when she was 21, she made a speech um, basically devoting her life to duty, um, whether it be long or short, that's a quote, um, which was very, which was long, but, um, so she was basically devoting her life to be on duty as a queen, and yes. Okay, so actually when she was 25, she actually went on a royal tour, and so when she was on that royal tour, her father suddenly died at the age of 56, 
And so she actually went back to London and basically she was queen and she was crowned. So she actually claimed the throne in 1953, but did not act. No, sorry, wrong way around. <laughs> she actually claimed the throne in 1952, but did not get crowned queen until 1953. Okay, so King Charles III was actually there, four years old, seeing his mummy or his mom get crowned. Her coronation was actually the first coronation to be broadcast live on live television. Okay, so Queen Elizabeth had four kids, um, King Charles III and Princess Anne, Prince Royal, which means that she's one of the hardest working members of the royal family. Then she also had Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Andrew, Earl of Wessex. Okay, so Prince Edward of Wessex. Uh, fun fact actually about her. So actually, her holding a um, handbag basically is a signal to her staff. So I believe this how it was. If it's on the ground, it means that she's wanting to stay. But if she picks it up, that means she wants to go. Or could be if it's in her hand, she wants to stay on the ground. Okay, it's one of those. But it is a signal to okay, her. You guys, so yes, the handbag is a symbol for her staff. And I'm actually going to tell you is that if it's on the ground she wants to go if it's in her hand she wants to stay if she switches it from right arm to left arm she wants to wrap up a conversation and if it is actually on the dinner table at an estate party or an estate dinner whatever they call it it is that means that she wants to wrap up in five minutes also she ate every morning for breakfast special cat i thought that was really funny and she also her one of her favorite food is jam penny sandwiches okay so she's also she's also have met let me see she's met um okay she has met 13 united states presidents and 14 prime ministers oh prime ministers are like the president of the country so she has two birthdays and one is in april and one's in june to the tribute of the colors which means it's basically tribute to the monarch at that time so on so on february 24th 1945 she joined the woman's uh terror trial service to war in world war ii is the first so she's also the first female member of the royal family to join the armed force full time. So actually March 16th, 1973, she opens the new London Bridge to the the third to be built nearly a thousand years. Okay, so um on February, I mean not February. Okay, so on May 20th, 1965, she and Prince Philip arrived in Mon Germany. I have place all right sorry I did and that also marks the basically that also basically marks the first British monarch to visit Germany in 52 years so on August 7th 19, 1993 Queen Elizabeth opens Buckingham Palace's doors to the public for the first time so on September 9th 2015 this is when she becomes the longest reigning British monarch um, over Queen Victoria. Okay, so on October 13th, 1940 is when 14 year old Queen Prince Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth, gives her first speech or first public speech to the radio for BC Children Hour. And also on December 25th, she would always give a Christmas speech. Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll also link my other Queen Elizabeth video down in the descriptions below. So, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good night, good day, wherever you are, and yes, goodbye.